with this record, it's finally not comparable to anything else, which is great. And with some bands, that happens the first record. With some bands, it happens third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever. But, you know, I think with every band, if you're not evolving with your CDs, then you should stop. And with us, you know, we obviously are evolving. With the first two, it's like we've never been on tour before. We just were making records together. And, you know, with all the good and bad that happened with Ascendancy, we wanted to have something that was completely opposite, which was the Crusade, which was intentionally the opposite of Ascendancy. So we had that, and this record, we didn't care what happened as long as we liked it. The four of us loved it, and that was all that mattered. And I, and I feel that this record captures everything we have ever done as a band, right, as, as like a key ingredient of Trivium, and that next level of sound, and balls it in this big happy package, just like the 40 got right here. <laughs> What'd you say, brother? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, we... <laughs> Who the fuck you think you are? No, we uh, we went into this just fucking rocking. I don't know, man. What do you think, Corey? Melodies. I think you talk to me like that again. Corey, Corey's the melody maker, man. Um, I I fucking try to make some melodies and shit, and Corey just outdoes him. Uh, it's just uh, I guess the music just called for more guitar melodies, and uh, we just did a lot more being creative with layering parts, and uh. It just kind of worked out that way. The Crusade, it was like the music was just more kind of stripped down, straightforward. The melodies didn't really, you know, we tried it on some stuff, but it didn't really seem to work. Like it wasn't really called for. The music on this was just, it was just so open in the parts where we put the melodies. It just like was perfect. And a lot of the stuff was just like the first kind of thing that ca kind of came out was, was just kind of really fit. So, uh. You know, just kind of threw in wherever melodies we felt, you know, it needed it in certain spots, and uh, happens just to be that there's just a hell of a lot more of them than we did in the last one. Well, like another thing too is like, I think with Trivium, there's definitely a really brutal side and a very melodic side, and we just took both of those to the extreme as well, and I think that's why. I mean, definitely some of the heaviest stuff we've done is like borderline death metal riffing here and there, and you know, it's but a soap the opera. yeah, it's a soap opera. Well, so did the music just call for it a lot more or was, exactly. it, was it that simple yeah it was um, we tried singing over these these heavy ass riffs and it didn't sound right and I think it was this dude over here that said why don't you scream over it and I was like oh really no, like, yeah dude pussy, yeah it was along those lines and then uh, we tried it out it sounded perfect it sounded right and with this record there's just as much singing in quantity as there was on the crusade yep. but there's more screaming than there was on ascendancy so if you don't like one thing you got the other thing yeah, it's got a little bit of everything for everybody. It's a little bit, but it's a lot. It's, it's, like, a it's like orange juice, you know? <laughs> With the riffs, it was just like a flood of greatness, and it just kept coming. And it was just riff after riff. Just couldn't stop. It was, you know, we just kept writing, and we wrote a lot of songs that we actually got rid of because it didn't really fit. Like, the overall like, kind of a style didn't really fit with the majority of the songs that we were really digging. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, pretty rockin' riffs that didn't make the cut because they were in songs that kind of sucked. So we, but, uh, so, we sold, <laughs> so we sold them to a bunch of shitty bands and had a lot of extra money to sell. Yeah, that's how we funded to, just, to make the record was just selling hack trivium riffs to shitty bands. <laughs> Dude, if we would have named bands, I would have been even more fucked up. Yeah. I was waiting for it. I was no like, oh, way. God, no, 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 you're going to get fired. Uh... The word Shogun is, is a word like a, we've always all known about, and on our second Japanese tour, I was on like a tourist bus tour, and um, I overheard that word, and I was thinking like the imagery that that one word evokes by itself, and I was like, wow, that's pretty amazing. Maybe we can use that for a song or something someday, and that was when the Crusade had just come out, so we didn't know what to use it for, and um, <laughs> finally, uh, when we started writing all this material years after that tour, we had all, we had everything together, and um, and when we heard this music, we knew it needed a really epic title. Right. And uh, our original <laughs> original title was Fist Punisher. But <laughs> no. <laughs> it was Eat the Meat. Yeah. Our working title was Eat the Meat, but that wasn't epic enough, so we changed it to Shogun.